and uh, where there's a whole family and they're living off less than twenty thousand dollars a year. And so you say, well, if they're living off that twenty thousand dollars a year, why don't they go out and get another job? Well, if you look around, there aren't any other jobs. Basically, when a person graduates from high school or college now, these are their options: either they're going to go to college to be a, to get a professional degree, such as a doctor, a lawyer, engineer. And they're going to work in one of those fields. Or they're going to work for the government, be it the military, or work for uh, the prison system, or the, or the county. Or they're going to be a Walmart associate. That, that type of job. There are not a lot of options anymore. And the options that I had as a college student to just simply go out and start a business, you know, I, I pushed a lawnmower through college. And I hired other people to push a lawnmower along with me that I made the money off of. Those opportunities are not as easily attainable as they were <coughs> when I was 25 years old. And when I drive into a town like Union, South Carolina, or Allendale, South Carolina, or Saluda, South Carolina, and I see these big Millican plants that are shut down, it really makes me mad because I know that trade legislations that we've created, like NAFTA and CAFTA, have pretty well closed those plants down that those small cities, small towns depended upon, and we sent them to third world countries where they paid people $1.25 a day for labor. We have, I, I made a comment on Facebook the other day that our government has pulled the rug out from under our young people's feet. And what I meant by that is, when, when we have a government who is responsible for sending over a million middle American jobs overseas so to be those jobs to be worked by slave labor and now you've got kids over here who are taking out buku money and student loans and getting these college degrees and they're graduating and they're walking out the door and say here I am but nobody is saying well come over here and work here there, there are no the opportunities are not here anymore and that's where the problem the, the bulk of the problem is And if you're visiting South Carolina, drop by the Shawnee's Restaurant on Airport Boulevard here in Casey, South Carolina. Until next week, Steve Eisen signing off. Thanks.